Hey guys, I wanted to make a uh, quick video talking about the past and answering that age old question like if you had the opportunity would you go back and what would you change or to do it all over again? And today's my birthday and being someone who's always been kind of like prone to depression and prone to low moods and I've been always having like a lot of regrets. <laughs> In life and uh, as I was growing up I had, lots of times it was like I found myself saying if I only would have done this or if I only would have done that things would have been so much better I can't believe I made such a huge mistake <laughs> and now I'm you know reaping the uh, terrible benefits from whatever uh, thing I was whatever it was I, that I did and so now that's my birthday I'm looking back I'm, it's hard for me to say that I would actually go back and change anything because I'm so happy that I finally overcome a lot of uh, problems in the past. Still have a long way to go, but I've, I'm happy that I kind of turned out the way that I did. And it's, it's kind of like, you know, would you, would I have still ended up where I'm at today if I would have changed like any one of those little steps that took me to this direction, you know? When I was in high school, I wanted to transfer to a public school, I went to a private school, I wanted to transfer to a public school for athletics. And I went to transfer, went, went to college, I wanted to transfer out of college to go to this other place. And then I've always been really in tune with my intuition uh, and holy, I guess you can call it the Holy Spirit intuition. And both of those times where like my mind was saying, go do these things, you will go, you'll like them. And then when I would like go there, my intuition would tell me you're in the wrong place. It's kind of like that gut feeling like you're not doing what you're supposed to be doing. And I learned the hard way um, when I don't, when I don't listen to that voice, that inner guidance. And ever since then, I've really trust that guidance, even though it, it's hard sometimes because um, that inner guidance told me to you know move, go back across the country, uh, go to graduate school. Uh, and pursue, pursue, pursue something that I was never really passionate about. And, you know, it's like, did that voice let me down this time? Because I still don't see the, <laughs> the benefits of like going down that route. But then again, I don't know if I would have ended up, you know, in this current state of awareness, this current mindset that I am now, if I would never have done that. Like I went through a lot of crap, a lot of hard times during school. I had, had to really, you know, put my trust in something else that was greater than ego Jared and learn to trust that. And that was literally the only way I came out of that school uh, alive. <laughs> and it was, uh, you know, I, I know life's really hard and it's, uh, it's really difficult to trust. You feel like you're doing the right thing and the right thing, it, it feels like it's not quite working out. Um, so, but I think the struggle is to continue the trust in your intuition, continue the trust in, um, I would say God, um, and it's just, it's, uh, knowing that there's the higher, higher power has your best interests at heart, has your best, um, highest vision of you, uh, at its core, and you have to continue on to, you know, the more you overcome, the stronger you become. And the more you know you expand and I think that is the real purpose the real reason is uh, but yeah you know uh, that's really all I want to say uh, you know a lot of times where like you have this original intention to do something and then you do it and then you you end up being there a lot longer than you intended to. Sorry, there's a... <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, like, you know, you have this original intention to do something, and then you do it, and you don't really plan on, you know, X, Y, and Z showing up, and then they show up, and then they wreak havoc on whatever plans you thought you had, and then your plan that you want to, your goal you want to accomplish doesn't work out, and then you have this other idea that you thought was going to be, like, your savior, and then that doesn't work out. <laughs> And so you just, and then you meet someone along the way and then like, oh, well, I'm glad I met this person. This person was totally worth it. You know, they, they changed my life. And I'm glad that I went through all that stuff.
so it's uh that's really all I want to say in this video. Hope you guys are doing well. And uh, if you're going, if you're going through another bout of the dark night of the soul, there's light at the end of the tunnel. We're always going in and out of you know high states, low states, and then it's just a matter of like uh, going with the path of least resistance, like a wave. Go with the wave, not against the wave. And then, uh, eventually pass it. So hope you guys this video and I'll talk to you guys before my next birthday. Much love.